How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wolf Relit and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today guys, I am going to be talking about a few things, giving you some updates on some things that have been confirmed fake and some things regarding rumors that we heard about yesterday that I want to talk about. So let's get started with one of the first things today guys and that is this right here. Now this was posted uh, on Twitter originally by Vegetable Bird or Vegetable Cookin who said, received some information from someone who wishes to remain anonymous. A reputable Chinese leaker has responded to the original 151 Pokemon only leak responding with fake. If the story develops more, I will update you and you can see an image right down there. Now you may be asking, what is this and what are we even talking about? Well, basically, yesterday essentially something came out and this thing that came out was essentially the guy who originally leaked. And again, just hear me out. The guy who originally leaked, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee, on the 1st of April, posted that in this upcoming game we're going to be getting ourselves, this upcoming Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, that we're going to be only getting the 151 Pokemon only. So only the original 151, you know what I mean? That's the only thing we were supposed to get according to what he said. That's just the, you know, the whole thing. That's the general truth. Now, again, you may be wondering, who is this guy? Well, this is the same person, again, who leaked Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee on 4chan on the 1st of April, and then also who sent out the Let's Go Pikachu logo. So it's the same person, keep in mind, who's saying or saying or claiming that the original 151 Pokemon will not, or rather will be the only Pokemon in this upcoming game. But according to this Chinese leaker, that is fake. That is BS, according to what he's saying. Now, this originally, like I said, came from Vegetable Cooking, but somebody else, uh, you know, here's actually an image of the two posts. The one up there is from the original leaker, who's claiming right there, as you guys can see, like Go's first release, only cancel Pokemon will be available in Let's Go. And then the image right here, uh, as you can see, sorry about that. The image right here is from the Chinese leaker, who is claiming that that is fake, and that he is not right about what he's saying right there, which we don't know who can be real here, but... Something came out from Perky Serena, who did a little bit of research on that, and essentially translated it and told us what's up here. She said, this Chinese guy is not the Riddler, just so you guys understand, but is also regarded as a reputable leaker by the Chinese community. So this guy who said that this whole thing is fake, he does seem to have some sort of like reputation that is beyond just like you know a bad one so he does seem to have a somewhat good reputation on his hands so i just want to point that out so just so you guys understand he does seem to have a reputation within the chinese community as being reputable as far as i can see based on things we see right here and what he's claiming right now is that the rumor that came out yesterday from the original leaker on 4chan is fake. He's claiming it is fake. I don't know if that is true or not. We don't really know yet. Honestly, we don't even know if Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are for real yet. We're still waiting for a, a direct to be announced. We're assuming it might happen today, tomorrow. That's the time we're working with. We don't know if anything's going to happen. Today's the 22nd and then whatnot, so we'll see what actually, you know, turns up. But that is essentially what we know about this. So, who is right here? We don't know. The Chinese community trusts this, like, have, you know, he has a reputation, a good reputation within the Chinese community, as far as I can see. And... Either we trust his word or we trust this random leaker who was the first person to mention Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, which could also have been a wild guess by him, just a really, really wild guess, or just him getting some tidbits of information, and that's all he knew, but then he just added his own info over time to just seem more legit. So it could be whatever, guys. I don't know. I want to know your thoughts on it. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, next up is something about the image I showed you guys yesterday. So you may remember this image that I made a video about, and also... This image right here, which I actually tweeted, which uh, you can see right there. It's like the Pokey Link thing, right? See, I wasn't too aware about this stuff. I didn't know what it was, but Jinx Club responded saying there were threads about this t uh, this pick, this topic, whatever you want to call it, on Taiba, but they were deleted. So it may be real. She's not claiming it is real, but it might be real. That's what she said. The pick is in Japanese, which basically suggests that you can link Pokemon Go and Pokemon Switch with this. Pokey Link via Bluetooth. Now, I speculated this could be some sort of connection between them two, you know what I mean? Like, you connect, like, your Switch and your Pokemon Go account, you can trade between them, uh, or maybe, like, somebody suggested you could play, you know, through that and whatnot, but it turns out, and thank you to Joe Merrick, by the way, for letting me know about this, but he said, that was an April Fool's joke somebody made last year. Thank you. I was not aware of that. I did not know, because, again, this, uh, this stuff gets sent to me randomly. I don't always get, like, you know, uh, backtracking for them, but I wanted to give you guys an update and make sure to tell you that this doesn't seem to mean anything. Apparently, it is an April Fool's joke, which I don't know when it happened. I wasn't, you know, involved in much of the rumors and stuff last year when this most likely popped up, so I was not aware of that, but I just want to make sure to give you guys an update and say that these two images are most likely BS fake. I don't know if, like, you know, um, 
I don't know where the April Fools came from or whatever, but apparently they are fake, and that is according to Joe Merrick right there, as you guys can see, aka the owner or runner of Pokemon uh, or uh, sorry, Serbi. Uh, .net. So there you go. But that's not all. We did actually have a translation of our past to pace of what that actually said. But since that's not important anymore, we might as well just skip it. So that is that. But I think I had something else I wanted to show you guys, which was uh, not this, but this right here, actually. So this was sent to me by... Someone, actually, I think on Facebook, told me, like, hey, somebody on 4chan was talking about that guy who does the animation. So, if you guys may remember, I talked about this guy yesterday, who is the head animator for OLM, the studio who makes Pokemon. You can see the image right up there with the Eevee or, like, v v v Nival, Nigel, I don't know what his name is, but the guy with the Eevee, either way, that I talked about yesterday. Basically, you know, this is the same person. This is the, the, the same guy, right? And somebody told me, hey, he just tweeted, series layout start. And they thought that could mean that he's, like, laying out the new, like, or creating a new layout for the start of the next, the next series. That's what people are thinking. And I don't know what to feel myself. He says series layout start, which could mean anything. Could mean that he actually means, like, you know... Oh, we're, we're laying out a brand new series start, right? We're going to start a new series or whatever. That's, that's what it could be meaning here, but it could mean anything, honestly. So, I don't know, guys. I want to know your thoughts. He could be talking about the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime and that sort of stuff. But again, I am much unaware. So, I want to just make sure to ask you guys about that. So, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think this means they're starting a new anime or do you think this just has nothing to do with any of that? And it's just a totally different thing or maybe even mistranslated. So, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Let's go to the next thing. So, I want to quickly bring up this article. So, Pokemon the Switch may have the DLC, DLC according to job listing. Now, this is something that popped up, but according to another post that actually came out, there is a chance this won't happen because they specifically said, or rather paid DLC will not happen or we won't have Pokemon behind paywalls according to uh, Game Freak themselves. They actually said themselves they wouldn't do that. But I want to read this article real quick, guys, and kind of tell you about it real quick. It seems that development of the Nintendo Switch Pokemon RPG is ramping up after a job listing confirmed that localization of the game's translation of text will take place over the next few months. Yet, not a job listing has popped up that appears to confirm one interesting aspect about the game. The Pokemon company have now posted a job listing for a localization associate who will be involved with pr product development and marketing marketing activities, including digital production and asset management. Other the, under the uh, wait, list of responsibilities, it states that the th hired candidate will be dealing with in-game screenshots and video creation, video game hardware software management, and DLC data preparation and testing. The position offers a one-year fixed term contract and takes place in London, which is the same location as the Pokemon localization team roles. Although the Nintendo Switch RPG is not explicitly mentioned in the listing, it's difficult to imagine that the job post is for anything else, and it's reasonable to speculate that the upcoming game will have DLC. It's new. Wait, it's unclear. I was gonna say nuclear. It's unclear what sort of downloadable content this may be, though previous games in the franchise have offered post-launch content and events, such as global challenges in the Pokemon Sun and Moon games, and that could be some of the content, the sort of content that the Pokemon Company is referring to, which is very true. Some fans may have been uh, may have fingers crossed for more substantial expansion DLC. However, Nintendo has a big post-launch DLC with some of its biggest Switch exclusives, like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario, uh, Sario, Super Mario Odyssey getting additional content. The company has also confirmed plans to push more DLC for games in an effort to keep players engaged for longer. Major Pokemon expansions that add to the open world, creature-catching gameplay will certainly keep players occupied for hours. While Pokemon fans may hoping, hoping for confirmation, there are scant details about the game at the moment. Thus far, games have been uh, have had to rely on leaks, including rumors of the game's starter Pokemon, to keep them sustained until Nintendo and the Pokemon Company make more official announcements. Okay, so that is kind of that. I don't want to, like, there's nothing important rest of this down here, but I want to mention this specifically because uh, I had a discussion last night on Twitter and I actually had a discussion with you guys on my stream, and I specifically want to say that I do not want to see DLC in the way that it's been kind of handled with other franchises. Like, the reason why I think DLC would be bad for Pokemon is because I don't need DLC that doesn't add much to the game. Like, here's the thing, right? Give us a complete product, like a game that is complete, and then DLC can be an extra, like, just to add extra additional content. Because the issue with DLC nowadays is that the additional content you get isn't actually needed to be additional content. It's just something they keep away from us. Like, it's almost like they've completed the game, and they're like, okay, let's take away, like, 30% of the game or 40% of the game. Let's just take that away from them and sell them that over the next year or so through four DLC packs. Look at Call of Duty. Look at Destiny. Destiny is a great example of a horrible, horribly run game. Like, the game itself may be fun. I enjoy playing it as well. But I'm not spending my money on the expansions or any of that stuff. Because that is just 
evil by them. They keep away content from you, content that should be in the like main main game itself, right? They keep that away from you, so you have to pay double the price to actually get that. And then they split it up into expansions, special editions, limited editions, that sort of stuff. That's what scares me about DLC, and I don't want that for Pokemon as well. I am happy with the way Pokemon has been for the longest time. I think most people are. If they're going to give us some sort of DLC, then... Rather make it free, and if it's going to be paid, at least don't let it be something that you would have otherwise, you know, had in the game, but you kept it away just for us to pay extra for it, because that would be horrible. And also, as you guys may know, just a personal thing I want to just bring up here, Pokemon specifically is a franchise where they've made more money by simply making extra additions, right? So think Platinum, think Emerald, think uh, Yellow, think, uh, you know, every extra game you get. So Ruby Sapphire, you get Emerald. Uh, Diamond uh, Diamond Pearl, you get uh, Platinum, right? Those extra games we've gotten, uh, we've always gotten, like even Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, right? Those are the extra games we get. And those games are the ones I want to kind of mention specifically because they would make more money by keeping on doing that. But instead of them maybe doing that, they could give those things, those extra, like, new features, new story missions, or whatever, in those, like, extra versions, they could give those to us in DLC, which I think will be the more likely thing to happen. They will just give those extra things in DLC for maybe 10, 20 bucks, but there's a chance they wouldn't, and they will keep doing extra additions, which would be more beneficiary for them. They'd make more money from it, for sure. That is definitely guaranteed, but we'll see what actually happens. Now, let me know, guys. I want to know your answer on this, okay? So leave a comment down below telling me, are you hashtag DLC yes or hashtag DLC no? Would you prefer either one of them? So let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mobile Rowlet, and, you know, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.